going about and doing things the way they want to do them and do anything they want to do and think they're big enough to get by with. But I'm going to tell you one day, Chairman, you're going to face God one day and you're going to give an account of everything that you did in this old body, whether it be good or whether it be evil. You're going to stand before God and you're going to give an account and you can't say if it wasn't for that one, if it wasn't for this one, I would have served you. No, you've got to make it up in your mind that you're going to go with God regardless of what everybody else is going to do. Yes, amen. Amen. And I know. I know. Sometimes it gets heavy. And you don't think that you can be able to bear it. But the Lord just remembers, says, I'll put no more on you than you're able to bear. Uh-huh. And sometimes, yes, it hurts. Sometimes it gets heavy. And you've got to bear that load. But you know what? God's going to see you through. Victory's coming in the morning. Tears may endure for night, but joy cometh in the morning. Yes. That joy of the Lord is your strength. Uh -huh. You've got to have joy yes. if you want to make it with God. It takes that joy down in your soul. At your strength tonight. At your joy. You've got to have that joy. Yes, amen. Don't let the devil zap you with that joy. Well, you know what? The devil, he's good at what he does. He's good at what he does. But you know what? The God is trying to warn us to flee from the wrath which is to come. That wrath is coming upon this old land. I read an article the other day. And you know what? Every great civilization lasts about 200 years. The United States of America is gradually closing in on 200 years. And you know what? She's soon going to fall. Now, oh, people might not believe that tonight. But I want you to realize something tonight. The gap to the end is going to come to everybody. Every great generation has been destroyed. And if it wasn't destroyed upon the outside, it was destroyed from within. And I hate you see tonight today, that's what the church world is doing. They're being destroyed from within tonight. That they've run God, from out of their churches, and they've replaced him with all their entertainment. Amen. Amen. That's right. And you know what? This whole world, the whole United States, it's a fall. Real fast. Yes, it is. You don't believe what I'm saying? You're talking about an untoward generation. There was a man that's running for president. Sunday morning on the news, I was watching the news. And I want you to listen. I knew this was a coming. I knew it was just a matter of time. And he said, hey, if I'm elected president, all the tax exempt on the churches, I'm going to do away with them. And you know what? That struck a fear in my heart because I could see what the Word of God said and I could see how everything is lining up uh, and everything is going to come to an end. Uh, and he said, if I'm elected president, if they preach against homosexuality, if they teach against abortion, uh, then I'm going to take the tax exempt off, off the churches. Uh, hey, you see today how the devil was working? Working out in the world and David people would bow down to the devil and say, Don't take my tax exemption. That's right. People's Amen. changing. Right. God's words never change. Amen. 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 God's words never change. Never I'm going to stand on the word of God. I've got to stand on the word of God. My soul's on the line. If I don't preach the word of God, I'm going to face God and I'm going to split hell wide open if I don't tell the people exactly yes. what the word of God says. Uh -huh. Children, it's lining up. And it's lining up fast. That they're going to tell you what you can preach. If you preach against homosexuality, they're going to try to say that you're wrong. Well, you know what? I'm right because the word of God says it's a sin. Amen. 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 It's a sin. Killing a little baby in the womb is a sin. And I don't care what people say about it tonight. All sin's going to burn in the lake of fire. And I'll say one thing. If we give in to all these things, then we're going to be right there with the rest of the people that's committed their life to these words and doing the things that the devil would want them to do. What are you choosing tonight? If somebody would come to you, and say, if you don't believe it like I believe it, if you don't believe it, if you say something against a homosexual, listen, listen, let me clear this up. I love the people. Amen. 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 I love that homosexual. Yes. I'd love to see him make it right. But you know what? When they come to God, there's no such thing as a gay Christian. That's 
When they give their life to God, they're going to turn their life around and they're going to walk in the newness of life. And they ain't no devils in hell to take that from me tonight because God said it was a sin. And if God said it was a sin, it's going to burn tonight. And if God said killing a child is a sin, it's going to burn. And no devils can take that from me tonight. Yes. Oh, they might put me in prison. They put the apostles in prison. They put him in prison, but he didn't keep him from telling what the Word of God said. You've got to stand for something tonight. What are you standing for? If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Uh -huh. And that's what the world and the church world is doing today. They're falling for everything. Listen to what people are telling them. Because it goes along with the congregation. If it hurts somebody in the congregation, listen, I don't know nobody. I don't know what nobody does. But you know what we was talking about tonight? You can't hide from God. That's right. Amen. People they worrying about hiding it from their neighbor, hiding it from their sister, hiding it from their pastor. But you know what? You better worry about hiding it from God because Amen. you cannot hide it from God. God sees everything that you do. God knows every thought that goes through your mind. And you know what? We've got to get all these evil thoughts out of our mind when they come in. We've got to put them on the run. Amen. And like I was going to say a while ago, I can love that homosexual, but I don't love the sin that they commit. Amen? I don't believe in calling people names because you know what? You're not going to win people by calling them names. You'll win people by giving them a little bit of honey a little bit and show them that you love them and show them that you care for them and show them that there's a better way for them. Yep. Amen? Amen? I would not. I heard a preacher one time got right up in the pulpit and called them. I'm not going to use the word, but he just called them by the cube. You know what I'm talking about? Got right behind the desk. Now, who does he think he's going to win? That's right. Huh? Right. You ain't going to win people by calling them names. Right. You're not going to win people like that. You know what? You've got to show them love. Right. Yep. Show them you love them. Yeah. Show them that God loves them. But God doesn't love the things that they're doing. Right. That's the big difference. Amen. Come on, you know what? God don't want you to roll up your sleeves and fight with one of them. God don't want you to do it like that. God wants you to show that God wants you to show that you care for them, Amen. that you're praying for them, that you want to see them come and give their life to God. Yeah. And when God comes in, God will make a change. God will do something that no man could ever do. That's right. Amen. He's the only one that can change a person like that. Yeah. He's the only one that can change a life and put truth in them. Amen. That's what God can do. Yeah. Yeah. God can do all these things. God can pull them out of the life of sin. When you think that you're down in that bottom of that barrel and you can't go to lower, God has got a long arm that right. can reach right down to the bottom Amen. of that barrel Amen. and pull you right back up. Yeah. That's the power that my God has got. This God's got all power in heaven and earth. All power yes. in heaven and earth. And I'll say one thing tonight. He can cause save that foul of the sinner that's out there tonight. We look at around today and we try to save it just because a person's a homosexual. But what's the difference in a man being a liar? Right. What's the difference in a man committing a dog? Right. Right? Right. What's the difference? You know yeah. what it is? It's sin. God looks down. He sees sin. Right. That's right. And all sin is going to burn. That's right. yeah. We try to categorize sin. We try to say, well, this man over here, he just committed adultery. But he, God's forgive him of it. You know what? I've seen a lot of preachers that committed adultery. And they didn't only commit it one time. They committed it more than two. They committed it more than three Amen. different times. Right. And you trying to tell me that God has forgiven them? Nope. One right after the other. And people still sending their money to these TV evangelists. And, they, and their lives being open, right, brought right out in the open. Be sure your sins will find you out. Amen. Uh -huh. You're not going to hide them from God. God's going to bring them right out in the open where people can see them. And then what are you going to do? When God shows you what people are doing. And when God begins to show you what you are doing. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to walk in the light when he shines yeah, that light yeah. in your pathway? Yeah, are you willing to lay things down when God says to lay them down? Are you willing to pick things up when God says to pick them up? Sometimes we go through things and we look around and we wonder why we're going through it. Did you take inventory? Did you examine yourself whether you be in the faith? Amen. Did you ever examine yourself? Yes. Have I quit reading? Have I quit studying? Have I quit praying? Yeah. Have I quit going to church? My lands. 
We sit there and we do all these things and we check these off and we see what we're doing and yet when we mark them off and we see what we're doing, we don't want to do nothing about it. Some people don't want to change. They say, well, if that's how I'm going to make it to heaven, that's the only way there is, then I'm not going. Well, you made it up in your mind that you're not going. But you know what? There's another place that you're going to split wide open. If you don't make it to heaven, hell's going to be the only place that you can go. I've heard people, they say, well, there's a place called purgatory. No, there's no place called purgatory in the Bible. There's no in-between. And which man wasn't in-between. The Bible said when he died, he said he opened up his eyes. And in hell, he was burning in these torments. These flames, was he was being born from torment in these flames. Yes. And you know what? He wanted somebody to go back to tell his brothers. Yep. He wanted somebody to go back to tell his brothers not to come to a place like this. My Lord. How many people, if they could come back from hell, <clears throat> could actually have a testimony? Don't come to this place. Children, hell is real tonight. Yes. Yes. Whether people want to believe it or not, I can't help what people believe. Only thing that I can do is tell you, you better flee yes. from the yes. wrath to come. You know what? There was a time when Noah was on this earth. God told him to build that ark. Yes. And he built that ark upon dry ground. And the Bible said it never rained in those days. Here was a man that people thought that was crazy, didn't know what he was talking about, but yet he was to build that ark on that dry ground. And he telling the people, you better flee from the wrath to come. And you know what? Lot did the very same thing down in Sodom and Egypt and in Sodom and Gomorrah and he began to tell him you better flee from the wrath to come because all the evil that was going to take place and you know what even though they kept on working they began to tell him I'll tell you what there was one time when God opened up the sky and the fire began to fall and when the fire began to fall it was all over it was the end the end had come for all of the people Amen. Uh -huh. but you know what those people that was in that ark. Eight souls. Listen to me tonight. Eight souls were saved. And you know how they were saved? The water. Eight souls that was in that ark. And when that door was shut. And you know what? Like I said a while ago. It said it didn't rain in those days. Only a mist would come up out of the ground. The water that ground. But I imagine wonder what the people thought. When the skies clouded up. And no doubt it began to thunder and it began to light. And then here come the rains down out of the sky. Something they'd never seen in their life. And yet no doubt, no doubt, some people told them there's no such thing as rain. Don't worry about that old man. He'd been working on that ark for years and he's still a building. But you know what? That ark got built and it saved eight souls. But what I must tell you tonight, no doubt when that rain began to fall and it got up to their ankles, they didn't care nothing about it. But when it got up on their knees and it got up on their waist, I believe they began to say, that man knew what he was talking about. He began to tell them, but now it's too late. And tell them it's too late. I might. And they were all drowned in that water. Yes. And you know what? The fire is soon to come. These old skies are going to open up. And it's going to rain fire and brimstone. I've never seen fire and brimstone. Just like them people back there didn't see the water rain. But the fire and brimstone is coming. I'm going to tell you, you better flee from the wrath which is to come. Yes. It's a coming. Like they said a while ago, earlier tonight, or I believe Brother Dallas talked about it Friday, he said the people, they rose up, and they rose up to play. Yeah. And you know what? That's the same thing people are doing today. Yeah. They raise up, and they're raising up to play. But the ends are coming. The ends are coming. And where are you going to be when God knocked upon your heart and you turned him away? The Bible says that today is the day of salvation. Harden not your heart. Our God is a good God. It's not His will that any should perish. But all should come to repentance. God's calling people. God's calling people every day. He said, my spirit shall not only strive with man. I'll say one thing. I've all thought about that a lot of times. When He said, my spirit shall not always strive with man. You know what? 
Hell is enlarging herself every day. That's right. That is coming up. It's coming up. We can't see it. I'm talking spiritually tonight. But you know what? When those spirits start running around. And you know what? When the devil was cast down into heaven, from the heaven to the earth, third a third of the angels was cast down with him. Where do you think those third of the angels are at tonight? They're out there trying to win people, trying to deceive people, to get them into everything. That's called religion. Yep. That's called religion. The devil, he wanted to be worshipped just like God. But you know what? He'll never be a God like a God to worship him. Amen. 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 His, his uh, doom's already been pronounced upon us. Uh -huh. And I'll say one thing tonight, children. It behooves each and every one of us to get down to the business of God. Amen. I'll say me. I'm not going to talk about nobody. I'll say me. I don't need to get down to the business of God more than what I am. Yes. Every yes. day I need a closer walk with God. Yes. I said, Lord, the Lord said, faith cometh by hearing. Hearing by the word of God. And not only be a hearer of the word, but be a doer of the word. Amen. When God begins to show you things and begin to shine light in your pathway, then you've got to walk in that light. What are you giving in exchange for your soul tonight? I keep going back to that. And I thought, what God, what's it going to take? It waited till the rains was coming down, but it was too late. It waited until the fire was coming down upon this earth, but it was too late. Too late. How many people is going to wait around until it's too late? Uh, going to wait and wait and wait and put off their salvation. You have no promise of tomorrow. Tomorrow may never come for a lot of us, but I'm going to tell you what. The Bible says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandments. Uh -huh. For this is the whole duty of man. Amen. That's our duty, is to commit, keep the commandments of God. Yes. Let's all stand. I know I didn't get through part of this. But children, I'm going to tell you here tonight, God soon to come. Yes. You know, once you've tasted of the goodness of God, there's nothing that can take his place. Mm -hmm.